All right, welcome back to the next video in the Creating the Scentwork Champion series. When we left off, we had just started a dog on odor. We were using the two bases to start the imprinting and to start teaching the search patterns. Today, we're going to add the third base and then go into the fourth base, which turns into what we affectionately call the shell game. Now, from there, we do a lot of things. Uh, we continue to use these system, these base systems for a good portion of the dog's foundational training and we also will go back to these to help clean up anything in the future. Now with these syst systems what you will see today uh, as we progress throughout uh, today I'm going to use a verbal marker yes instead of a clicker one that's what I do most of the time especially once a dog is trained but two um, just to kind of give you another view of how to work. Um, when I start, I will just, because the dog is new, I will start with the first rep. I will just put the food inside the base. The dog hasn't seen it in a few days. Uh, his command is find it. You're gonna see him get the dog's attention. He's gonna go through his ritual. This dog, it's flat collar, leash tension. You tell him to find it, he comes out, we mark and reward, and then we will start playing. Uh, the shell game. So, when you're ready, you ready? Find it. Find it. Good check. Good check. Yes. Okay, Good pull boy. him back. Good so, boy. you know, he, uh, this dog's been an actor for a while. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put, move the odor around. He's going to tell him, find it. Find it. Yes. Oh. So, my Good timing boy. was off there a little bit. We'll move it around. Now, are you ready? Find it. Good check. Good check. Good. Good check. Yes. Good boy. Go. I'm back. So now you're kind of seeing, and, and I wanted to, to use him because he hasn't seen these bases in a while. So obviously this isn't a video that we're going to edit and it looks perfect. We want you to see how your dog's going to look in real life. So, you know, we want him to understand to check all these things. You can hear him getting amped up over there. Um, whenever you're ready. Find it. Good check, good check, good. Yes. Good boy. All right, good pull him back. Boy. So, um, I'll move this one to the last one. If he continues to search all these with intensity, then we're gonna go to the fourth one. Once your dog's clearly understanding to search each and every one, we will add in the fourth one. Um, obviously, he's got the intensity to search. You will hear me saying, good check, good check, as he checks these out. There's a reason we do this, verbal, is part of our system when we do detection. We do this because later on, when you're doing master's level, or you're going into the detective level AKC, you're doing level five and other organizations, and you've got multiple rooms, multiple odors, you can bring that dog back up, be like, no, check, check, or good check, good check. Just communicating with your dog can bring that intensity back up when they're starting to lower their drive and their intensity in the search which is an issue if you go back to one of my videos, correcting a false alert, a lot of times when it drags on, dogs kind of their intensity decline and they kind of go back to that trained behavior, that final indication, and they start false, alert, false alerting. <clears throat> Got tongue tied. So anyway, um, we're gonna send him in. We're gonna see how he does on this run. He's gonna give him leash pressure, tell him find it. I'm gonna tell him good check, good check, and then reward. Find it. Good check, good check. Good check. Yes. Good. Oh All right. Oh so I'm fourth one. All right, ready? Good check. Good check. Good check. Good check. Good check. Yes. Word on source. We'll give him a few more times of just moving this around before we show you how we branch off from there. Ready? Find it. Good check. Good check. Yes. Good boy. Good All right. Boy. So, and as you can see, uh, and I talked about it in the previous video, <clears throat> I have the hot dogs in my hands. It's okay for the dog to come out um, up to my hands, check out the hot dogs. He's understanding that he's not gonna be getting the hot dog. Um, my hands are closed, it doesn't matter if he nibbles at my hands. I'm not gonna let him get the hot dogs. Um, 
in the beginning he's going to learn right away the only way i get it is to put my nose on odor so ready good 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 yes good boy so good boy. that give you a little bit of an idea how we use verbal right there you heard me because he has progressed past this life gets busy we should have been banging these videos up for you number two is he's past this point but you hear me just good good that's what i'm talking about for a duration marker and we kind of hold out the reward we're going to shuffle this around one or two more times and then we'll we'll show you how we progress from there ready Find out. good check good check good yes good boy good all right boy. pull him back so you can good see boy. that he is clearly holding his nose to odor i would like to have him starting and searching each one individually um, but at this phase, that's not that big a deal. We're going to clean all that up. We're just wanting to get you started. Ready? Find it. Yes. Good boy. So, Good boy. Good boy. We'll give him one more like this before we start moving everything around. And we're you can kind of see how you'll spend the next several training sessions. Ready? Find it. Good check. Good check. Good check. Good. good check good yes good. Good boy. all right so good we'll pull boy. them back as you that's what we're wanting um we're gonna move things around we'll show you how we progress don't mind the background noise um he obviously didn't but part of the reason he doesn't mind what's going on is we take time to build the intensity to uh, the intensity to the search and to build value to the odor it, we do very specific things for very specific reasons. I'm going to leave that chaos in the background because you can see that, hey man, this dog didn't freak out. It's important because when we trial, we don't know what's going to happen in a trial. I have seen everything from low flying Blackhawk helicopters fly over a search area where I'm judging to when I was competing, a duck running in front of me and, you know, absolute downpours of rain to you're doing an exterior search and here comes a trash truck picking up a trash can, uh, a dumpster. So, I mean, things happen. So we have to kind of prep for those, but it all starts with a great foundation. As you can see now, we're kind of laying them out um, in a different path. We're gonna run them much like it would if we had just one column, start letting him see the picture he will see on competition day. We will move these around quite a lot. Um, but as I progress, I slowly progress and I spend a lot of time at this level using the bases. I will create more bases. We will throw more in there, put distractionary odor in in the beginning too. So, you know, a couple steps from this, we're not that far from really getting into the meat and potatoes. We'll let him bring him up a little bit, give him his leash pressure, tell him find it. Find it. Good check. Good check. Good. Yes. And I'm going to try my best to throw that uh, reward into the basket. Like I said, we have it for a very specific reason. Uh, you can use this at home as long as you're marking with your verbal. So don't worry. Um, our mark, our yes, is just a promise to pay. So if I say yes and the treat goes in there and bounces out, it's okay. Even if the treat bounces out close by, the dog was marked at source. So we don't have to get so bent out of shape over if the food falls away from it. We marked them on source. The dog's understanding from an early, from the very early sessions to keep the nose to odor and get rewarded on odor. So whenever you're ready. Find it. Good check, good check, good check, good check, good. Yes. And, and right there, my cornhole skills were on point. I was able to toss it right there in the basket. But, you know, that's not always the case. We can see he's understanding the game. We'll let him do a couple more reps of this, and then we're going to give him another visual. Good check. Good check. Good check. Good. Yes. Right there, they weren't on point. But he still got rewarded at source. So, we'll give him one more run and then we're just going to switch them around Find it. good check good good yes so you can see we're already at the point where we're getting duration out of him and we're asking with our duration verbal good good 
Now we're going to go more into this on the Patreon page. We're going to kind of space these out now. Almost as if he would see at a trial. And let him search. Good search. Good check. Good check. Good check. Good. 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 Yes. Now he is good. Yes. Oh, I'm going to reward him again because he went back to it. Oh, yeah. So you can see this is, and this is not a dog we're going to stick with food. He is a, uh, a toy motivated dog. So he is more motivated by a toy than food. But at a very early stage in his career, you can see that he's already starting to hold nose to odor. We are not at a point, we are not going to rush this dog putting a final alert on him. In the past, I have done it. I've seen many people do it. And what happens is the dogs tend to false alert more. When they get stressed, when the intensity drops, they offer that behavior because they understand that's a way to get rewarded. This dog, right now, if we did nothing else, we could clearly read his body language. Ready? Find it. Good. Good check. Good, good. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. So you can see Troy is calmly petting him. That's also to help with the duration marker. We're good, good, calming him down because we are teaching him to hold his nose on odor. That is very important. Some people don't even train a final alert. If you want your dog to hold that nose on odor and look great to where you don't have to worry about misreading your dog in a scent work competition, then that's worth the admission to the video here, be honest. Um, but that is very important for us. We want him to start understanding nose to odor. Ready? Find it. Good check. Good check. Good. 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 Yes. Good. 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 Oh, buddy. So you can see, you can also see that when he gets an odor, you know, he spins, he, he has some, some body language is kind of hard to miss because he is a somewhat intense dog, but everybody's dog's going to be different. Um, but the one thing we can shape and create with verbal markers and food reward is obviously nose to source. We can have that nose hold on odor. We can create intensity. Now you can see we have started to four corner our containers or our bases this is to kind of start shaping a search pattern but in reality I want the dog to just kind of see this moved all over the place as we progress with containers or with our bases we will go back to the ones that we make at home we will move in other things it is very important for me to let the dog understand that odor can be anywhere when we skip ahead, we try to rush things, we don't present odor in as many areas as possible, we see dogs struggle in competitions. So we're going to run them a couple times on this. Uh, like I briefly mentioned earlier, if we're doing a food reward dog, I am going to end the session with what we call a jackpot in obedience. So he'll get several pieces of food. Good, good, good. Yes, yes, yes. However you want to say it. <clears throat> if he is a toy, now this dog will be a toy. Uh, I don't know if we have any toys in here, so I'm going to show you basically we'll just jackpot him. We'll give him a couple reps of this, and then we'll throw, we'll, we'll end the session however we see fit. But most of you use food in scent work competitions, whether it's NACS, WCPE, AKC. So we're going to let him, pressure's going to go on. You're going to see the dog amp up a little bit, and he's going to tell him find it. Good check. Good check. Good. 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 Yes. Oh, you good man. Yes. And since he brought his nose back to it, I wanted to reward that. We'll give him a couple. We'll give him a couple more. And then we're going to end the session how he likes to end it. Because uh, I actually see over here by the camera, I see his handy dandy tennis ball. And he sees it because you can hear him. So. We'll give him another, another run. Find it. 
Find it. Good check. Good check. Good check. Good check. Good. Good check. Good. 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 Yes. Had a man. Good. Good. So you can actually see, I don't know if you how much of the camera's capturing it. He kind of circled around. We have some boxes off to the side, some BSD boxes. We have some other stuff he searched. Plus he saw me use the toy. Now this is a dog that when I first got him, if a toy was even in the room, he wouldn't search. So you can see the power of food for building value and building search intensity before we even go back to a toy. Ready? Good. Good check. Good check. Good. 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 Yes. Good. Good, boy. Good man. Good. Boy. Good. Good boy. So, one of the issues that I will have with this dog, because this will be a dog, as I said, this series is going to be taking you along the journey with me. Uh, this dog came from Europe. If you didn't tune into the first couple episodes, he spent two, two and a half years of his life looking for a Kong. Uh, so they would basically play the find it game with the Kong. So we will have to clean up his searches a little bit. I would bet that most people with food reward dogs, you would start getting a little bit better search behavior faster. But this dog has some great qualities, but he's got some things we're going to clean up, but you're going to see it all along the way. So we're going to give him his last run. Good, good. Good. Yes. Good. Boy. Good. Good boy. Yes. And you can see me jackpotting him with food just like I would a food reward dog. And then slowly because he is toy. Good. 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 Yes. Atta boy. So boy. he gets the toy on odor. He's Good still holding boy. his nose. Atta man. Good. Boy. I'm going to slowly Good bring boy. him down and just give him a little bit of tug right at source good man okay and he's going to run him all the way to the car all right so there's one thing i did want to add to this video uh i failed to say it earlier but as you're watching this dog this dog is very early on in his scent work journey now does he have experience in the fact that yeah he came from overseas and they taught him how to look for a kong yes but what you're seeing is a very young dog um, you saw him in several parts of the video kind of go outside the search area. Part of this is due to the fact that we're limited on space and we have BSD boxes over there and we have a scent wall behind us. However, even if it's not because of other things he's seen uh, odor in and he's been searching those things in the past, so he's just kind of trying to figure out what he understands. If we're just sitting in a blank space and we have our area, because you see it, if you're if you're working your, your 10 boxes or your 20 boxes, however many containers you lay out, this is an important part of training. If your dog can't be wrong, it can't ever be right. We want the dog to go over and investigate something, even if it's something off to the side, and come back to the search and come back to odor and be rewarded. By utilizing the system that we are laying out, here and more in depth on Patreon, you create an independent thinker. You create a dog that has confidence and the ability to problem solve. And that's what we want. When we start seeing our dogs become confident, the search intensity is high, they are able to figure out the problem with minimal input from us, then we've done a great thing. So that's why we allow our dog, you'll see my dog come in, circle back around, get back on odor. Yes, and it's a really big thing. Yes, and our voice changes. We reward the dog. You see us petting the dog up. We want to create an independent dog, not a dog that is so handler dependent that it struggles. Hope you like this video. We're going to continue to put these out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join us on Patreon because we are putting more in-depth content on how we train multiple dogs on that page. It's just ramping up. We want to thank the patrons that are there and click that link below. Do all your shopping on Amazon. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help support this channel. 
We do have some great stuff lined up for you. Thank you so much, and we will see you soon.